In problem number one of section 4.1, we're given two, pol two polynomials, uh, one of degree m, one of degree n, and we're asked to look at the degree of the sum of the two polynomials. And we're asked, is the degree of the sum always m plus n? Well, just take a look at an example. If uh, we let p of x equal, uh, say, x cubed plus 5x plus 3, how about, and if we let q of x equal um, 2x squared plus 8, well, degree of p of x Degree of p is equal to 3, and degree of q is equal to 2, uh, since 3 is the highest, uh, is the largest exponent in p of x, and 2 is the largest exponent in q of x. But if we look at the um, sum, p plus q, See that this is, well, x cubed plus 2x squared plus 5x plus uh, 11. Well, this is just degree of uh, degree 3. So see that um, that's not clearly not equal to just the sum of the degrees. In fact, the degree of uh, the sum of two polynomials will always be equal to the degree, or always um, have the same degree as um, the higher degree polynomial. So in this case, uh, it's equal to three. In fact, the only time that it is true when uh, the degree of the sum or the degree of the sum of the polynomials is the sum of the degrees is when um, one of the polynomials is of degree zero. In other words, it's just a constant.